Hello and welcome to this video. We're standing here outside my truck, which is a Kenworth W900 with a custom paint job on it. We are doing the uh, current event, which is Cruising Texas, and this is episode 6 out of 15. Let's enter the truck, and this is how it looks like. It's a quite small but very cozy truck, and we also have a bed here in the back. So let's start it up. And we put the light on. And we release the handbrake. And we put it in gear. Our trailer is standing here. This is actually the exact same spot that we dropped off in the last video. And here we have it. It's live cattle. So let's line up the trailer. Uh, the truck with the trailer here with the containers and there we see it okay let's put the flashes on we pull the window down we put reverse in we lean out in window and we back up to this trailer perfect there we go we got contact so we go outside, we take a look at this. Yeah, looks good. So let's take a look at the map. This is where we are. We are south of Dallas, down here. We're going southbound on Interstate 45. We are leaving that interstate here. And we're going west on... Or Southwest on Interstate on third <coughs> on 31, and from there we are entering Interstate 35 southbound, just to exit that road 77 to our destination, which is down here. So this distance is 101 miles, and this should take a little bit more than two hours. time is five o'clock in the afternoon we got a little bit more than uh, half a tank of fuel and we have also time on the clock for driving so let's leave this area uh, where the exit is it's up here I would assume the flashes off we go left here it says stop so we will have to do that no one is coming okie dokie let's go so where is he going it's a nice Peterbilt I really love these classic trucks the uh, Kenworth W900 and the Peterbilt 389 I mean they are so they are so beautiful really really nice looking okay so we're leaving here now uh, 10 miles an hour we are on fifth gear and this is narrow and we have to stop here at the uh, security check which we saw when we came in last video something I never experienced before but uh, yeah well I guess it's good it is there so let's stop and we turn off the engine and we are okay so let's start the truck put it in gear and off we go stop sign so we'll have to stop no traffic from the right we got guys from the straight on but forget about them because they have to give us space now we're on fourth and from here we go up to fifth and now we will start splitting the gears from uh, high to low to 
get more gears uh, in order to get a better momentum when we drive. Stop sign again before entering the interstate. Oh, this is quite a lot of traffic. It's a busy day in Texas. And when can we leave? I would assume some more cars coming everywhere. After this white one, we will just force ourselves out, to be honest. And the guy is turning. How great isn't that? And this guy too. Okay, let's go. Forget about this. been standing there all day if not doing like you have to be a little bit tough in the traffic so up on five again and now we start speeding which I do with this button now we are in high and we go down to six low and we go to six high and you know how it goes so we're building up speed it's 55 miles an hour allowed here uh, we are working towards that goal. There we are, we put the cruise control on at 55. And we're following, I assume, or no, maybe not. Probably we are not entering the Interstate 45 on our left. We're going on this parallel road. Okay. light up ahead oh it's tough to stop this truck it's quite heavy no one from the left no one from the right so we're good to go and off we go can go right on red in US it's not a problem if we just signal properly and stop sleep somewhere let's check the sat nav a gas station up ahead Let's enter here. 
Go over the curbs. Let's check this viewpoint out. So let's stop the truck. And check this viewpoint out. The city of Corsicana. Looks like an industrial city. Historic Corsicana. Okay, something must have happened here. So if you know that, you could put it in the comments because I have no clue. It has something to do with trains, I would guess. Maybe this was a important connection in the past during the Wild West. I wouldn't know. I feel a little bit uh, that I should check this up, actually. Okay, here we are. Let's move outside the truck and take a nice screenshot. There we go. We go inside again. We start it up. Putting gear and uh, we are going out. Anyone will clear us. There's a red light in the back, so when that turns red, everyone will stop and then we can go out, I would assume. Then we got all this traffic coming from the other road. I am going to force my way out of here. That's what you can do when you have a big rig. Ooh. As soon as it turns green, which is now, we are going to... Come on guys! Yeah, this guy is stopping. Because we will be here forever otherwise. guy 
we are clear. And we're going left out on this interstate. And we build up speed here on the ramp. So we will not have any problems entering. There's no traffic, so that's okay. Nice sunset going on here and it's 45 loud. And we're going left, so let's signal left and go left. Are you going to let me out? Thank you. I would like to stay and sleep. But I don't see any place to do that. So we probably have to do that after we dropped off this trailer. Hopefully we won't get any fines before that because we are tight on the clock now. Turn left. Nice Peter build. Day cab. Another one, but not a day cab. Mac Anthem. Okay, it's green, let's go. Wonder what kind of cattle we have here actually. Could be cows, could be goats, could be pigs, I have no clue. I only know that we have live cattle in the back. Motel 6, yeah, that would be great if we could stay there, but that would cost us money and we have a bed in the truck, so we don't want to even do that. It's 40, so I'm speeding here because I'm a little bit stressed over the clock, actually. I'm afraid I will get fined soon for driving more than allowed. So we're crossing this little bridge. River down there, yeah, it's a river. We're going left up here, so let's. I just one lane now, so okay. Uh, okay. Let's go left. Yeah, let's do that. Why don't you just drive out in front of me like that? Stupid. Next red light here, we're turning left. Turn left. Yeah, we will. We will. <sighs> La Salle Avenue. Okie dokie. an hour allowed the and a roundabout you don't see that that often in US here in Europe where I live you see it basically all the time Cameron straight ahead we're coming up on our destination here I would say miles allowed Chevron gas station it's nice okay here we go now we get the sleeping violation but what can I do there is no way 
I can stop. I haven't found any place, unfortunately. I would love to stop, but I can't. I would assume we're soon there. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still some way to go. And then after that we have to drive back again to find somewhere to stay. But I see something blue down there at the destination and blue are usually beds on the map. So if we're lucky we can sleep there. In that case it would be really good. Don't go there man. Camera on 36, Lagrange 105. And we are getting tired. We're going left up here, so let's move to the left lane in that case. We're not shifting because we're turning here soon, so let's signal. Where is the turn? missed that completely it's dark I didn't see uh, okay no harm done but still let's put the uh, real lights on so we see what we're doing we're turning again so we're not changing gear I don't like driving in the dark because you see very 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 bad in this game in reality too by the way but in this game it's it's really hard to see what you're doing when it's dark I see we have a bed there good so what we will do is that we will actually stop and sleep before unloading the trailer why will we do that well because I don't want more sleeping violation Second of all, I don't want to do this parking in the dark because I know by experience that parking the trailer in the dark in this game is not that easy. Uh, but okay, here we have lights, so that might be okay. Where do they want me to put the trailer? They want me to put it there. No, we will do like this. We will actually sleep first before we unload. We will do that. Uh, somehow. Because I can't go there. Can I? It's on the other side somehow. Oh. Okay, let's go around here. Now, now, now we're making a mess out of everything here. Now we put ourselves in a really interesting situation. Okay, so my plan went really bad. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Did I hit that car? So his alarm started to sound. A more sleep failure. This is building stress, I would tell you. This is building some stress. No, oh, it does not work.
let's go out of the truck and see what we're doing here actually because I really messed up this time I will have to go back the way I came let's turn this alarm off that's good yeah we have no other choice we have to go back the same way let's take a look at the mirror okay let's Also this stress with that we are getting tired, we know that already. to a mess okay we clear straighten this up and then we just reverse back again I could go out and do this in third person it would be quite easy and I would be done in a second to be honest but there's no fun the fun is to do it like this even though I'm quite upset with myself for putting myself in the situation but if you put yourself in the situation you have to take it out you have to solve it yourself and that's what I'm doing. I'm solving this mess I put myself in. And let's just stop here and go out the truck and see where we are. Okay, so we are going... I think we could go right here, turn around and back this one up. We will, we will make it a try because we already messed everything up today anyway, so... Probably a tight turn here, but uh, I don't care. It's the way it's gonna be. So let's do like this. Really take space. And we will drop off the trailer and then we will uh, stay and sleep after that. They also put a tractor there. We manage. There we go, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. Uh, I messed this one up, but we uh, arrived in our destination and we corrected it. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to uh, subscribe, it would also make me quite happy. 
Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, thank you very much. Take care. Be safe and bye-bye.